Welcome to the Audio Dabble YouTube channel. My name is Mitch, and in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Mayona Microphone PM500 microphone set. So stick around. Let's get the technical stuff out of the way so we can move on to some more interesting things like testing the audio. But this is the PM500 microphone. It's a large condenser microphone. It has a 34 millimeter metal coated diaphragm. It does have a metal body. It has a balanced XLR output. Comes with a custom shock mount and a custom pop filter which just kind of pops on and off on the uh, shock mount itself which is a nice feature because I do have another microphone that's got a custom shock mount and the mount is fixed in one location and so if there's for whatever reason you gotta turn the microphone and the mount to get it to to do right then you lose that pop filter because it's only in one spot this can rotate all the way around I thought that was a really nice feature it also comes with a microphone little tabletop stand I will say the only con about this is that it has no feet or rubber feet on the bottom which you could technically just take the packaging stick it in there like so and then you could potentially have your own little shock mount for the um, tabletop stand you could cut you could cut around it and I mean that would work for all intents and purposes for for that if you're getting a lot of extra noise by having it set on the table I may or may not use this because I do have a boom arm that works really well and you know I do have another microphone up there so I may swap them out or you know get another boom arm or you know find another one to test out to see if it's as good as the one that I have so here are the specifications I'll throw a picture up to it and it deals with the frequency response sensitivity output impedance and stuff like that so if you are interested in seeing that here's the data sheet for that you can pause the video also in the manual it has the polar pattern and the frequency response I will put a picture of that up as well and you can pause the video to take a look at that information as well I really do like this package because it literally comes with everything you could possibly need except for obviously an audio interface and a computer and everything but it comes with a mic the stand the shock mount pop filter and a cable that is decent quality as far as um, that's coming in a package it's, it's pretty thick and it seems to be doing well and this microphone is 48 volt phantom power it is not USB so you will need an audio interface to hook it up and use it so just be aware of that oh how does the microphone sound well so far this is the only audio I've been using is the microphone plugged into my iPad with my Presonus 24C audio interface letting Cubasis 3 record it but to give a comparison I will switch over to the camera audio which has a little shotgun mic on it this is the audio coming from the shotgun mic plugged directly into the camera. This is an audio test, 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 test. This is the audio test from the Mayona microphone plugged into the 24C Presonus into the iPad recording. No, pos no post processing will be done except for just to kind of balance out the levels because loudness sometimes makes our ears think something sounds better just because it's louder, but... I'll get the I'll try to get the levels balanced and then for the uh, different uh, audio tests. All right, so you can see it works pretty good as far as sounding for uh, like voiceovers and narrations and things like that. At least it does in my headphones. And then a little bit of I've tested it 
it does seem to be working out fairly well. But how does it sound with instruments and things like that? Well, let me get set up for that and we will uh, test it out. All right, audio test with the Mayona Microphone Loopy Pro and ukulele and a little hand drum and my voice.
me on me a on microphone. A microphone. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this was helpful and useful, and you got some you know good information on the Mayona microphone. You know, to help you make a decision if you want this microphone or not. They did send it to me uh, for my review, but this is my words, not theirs. They're not paying me to say this. They have no say in what I put in my videos. But overall, I think, you know, it's going to be a microphone that I will definitely use. I enjoy it's It's lightweight, but it, you know, it seems to pack a pretty good punch. And it looks looks pretty cool. Not that, you know, looks are, are what matters, but, you know, if you got a cool-looking microphone, you know, it kind of helps you get in the moment. It's just like, yeah, i got a cool microphone. I can sing. But I really can't sing, but I'm trying. All right, make sure you check out the links below because there will be a link to this microphone as well as other things that um, – how to get in contact with me and my other social stuff and – you know, things like that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell icon, like the video if, if you like it, you know, dislike it if you don't like it, and I will talk to you guys later.